Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollow Thrills back with another video and today we are taking a little bit of a break from our Summer of Thrills theme park tour content as we finally got another Halloween Horror Nights announcement. And just as always with all the other announcements that we got, we normally get our announcement video. But before we dive into that, please make sure you're subscribed and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure you're following both Instagram and Twitter. The links are down in the description below. I kind of broke the news of this announcement over there before I made this video here. So if you want to be extremely up to date on all announcements and stuff like that, follow me over there. It really, I would really appreciate it. But um, now, like I said, let's dive into this announcement video. We'll kind of show it to you guys first, and then I'll talk about it a little bit, and we'll go from there. So let's take a look. Warning, unusual audiovisual activity in your house. On thin ice, buddy? Yeah, if you say so. Miho, get your butt in here. You left the TV on and this room is a disaster. See new evil, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, only at Universal Halloween Horror Nights, where horror lives. So, like I said, second IP announcement here, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the 2024 sequel film to the 2021 film Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, I have not seen Frozen Empire, but I did see Afterlife and I loved Ghostbusters Afterlife. It was a just a nice homage to the franchise. It had a lot of fan service with a really decent story built in with it, kind of, kind of breeding the next generation of Ghostbusters. I really thought that it was a nice love story to the franchise and a good way to continue it. But from what I'm hearing with this new film, they brought the old characters back and I just don't understand really why. Um, like I said, haven't seen this movie because of a lot of people just saying that it wasn't great. Critics didn't like it, audiences didn't really like it, so I didn't really want it to ruin my opinion on that whole new franchise that they're going on with the Ghostbusters. Um, like I said, loved Afterlife, so I didn't really want my opinion on Afterlife to be ruined by this movie. But of course, I'm probably going to have to see it now that it has been announced for a house. Um, so in due time, in due time, I will see it before the beginning of haunt season, but before I really dive into, um, whether I think this is going to work or not, whether I think I'll actually enjoy this house, let's talk about the information that we were given in the press release and the little synopsis that they gave us about the house. The all new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire Haunted Houses at Universal Studios Hollywood and Universal Orlando Resort bring the latest installment of the global Ghostbusters franchise to life, as well as iconic ghosts, creatures, and characters from the beloved classic series and authentic haunted houses that capture the horror and humor for which the films are known. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire will transport fans of the film franchise to New York City where the Spengler family teams up with the original Ghostbusters who are now at the helm of a top secret research lab for their ghostbusting enterprise. With the daunting discovery of an old relic that has set free the vengeful spirit of Garaka who threatens to freeze everyone to death, Ghostbusters new and old must join forces to protect their city and save the world from a second ice age. 
As guests venture through the haunted houses, they will find themselves in the sinister world of the supernatural, from Ray's occult bookshop to the Ghostbusters' new high-tech lab and containment facility to the dank New York City sewer system. Fans will embark on this petrifying journey alongside the Ghostbusters, encountering iconic ghosts who slime and nefarious villains who are out for revenge, all while trying to escape an army of ghastly creatures bent on cracking bones and turning their veins into rivers of ice. As they navigate their way through freezing and frightening conditions, the Ghostbusters will need their wit and humor to defend the city they love from a terror too chilling to believe. From that little synopsis that we got, I am definitely interested to see how this house goes and how they really handle it. Um, now, like I said, we did have a Ghostbusters house in 2019, and when that first was announced, I wasn't the biggest fan. I wasn't really hyped about it just because I'm not really a huge Ghostbusters fan, but I will say it did kind of change my mind as the events went on, and it did end up being a very fun house and it was a very enjoyable house with great details and I just had an overall good time walking through it. So I do kind of hope that this runs along the same lines as that. I will say from the trailers that I have watched for the um, Frozen Empire movie, um, it does look to be much scarier than the original Ghostbusters film. So hopefully they can kind of translate that into, uh, into the house and really kind of build on that to try to make it a little bit more scary and like i did say the first house that we went through in 2019 was a bit more of a like a fun kind of fun vibe but this one i do hope does bring a little bit of that horror aspect into the ghostbusters franchise and to be honest with the overall kind of ice theme with the ice shards and just everything with garaka and, and the ice theme that they're kind of going with i really do hope that they work a little bit with temperature play in this i know that this is probably going to be in a sound stage um so i really hope that they do kind of have that temperature play because we always love kind of a nice chilly cold house here in florida to kind of get you out of the out of the, the heat and the, the, the overall humidity of the night. I mean, it should be good just in that alone if they end up including that. So am I overall excited for this house? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I, I would have honestly preferred had they just done Afterlife or, or maybe just the first two Ghostbusters films of the original uh, Ghostbusters franchise. Um, I'm not really excited for this one. I think this is just another swing and a miss for me personally on these IPs for this year. Um, I'm not really excited for this one or A Quiet Place. So the last two announcements are kind of, eh. I'm really just hoping with these next two that they do four IPs, they really bring something big because as of right now, it's looking like it's going to be another, uh, another original kind of focused year where the originals end up stealing the show. I could be wrong. I could be wrong and I hope so. But uh, personally, like I said, for me, out of the two announcements that we've got for IP so far, not really interesting me. Now, the last thing that we do have to talk about before we end off this video is, of course, with any announcement, we always get some sort of merch and that is nothing different with this one as we did get two pieces of merchandise for this announcement the first being a shirt and the second being a hat so let's focus on this shirt first um, as always these have always gone on sale on both online and in the park you can normally find them at five and dime as well as the uh, boutique over in islands of adventure um, so this shirt that they have it has a really nice big design on the front and the little uh, Halloween Horror Nights 24, uh, 24 logo on the side, on the sleeve. Um, the big design on the front though has that, that uh, nice kind of wintry, icy theme. And you see right smack dab in the middle is a big universal arch. And then you see kind of the main uh, four characters from the, the, the movie right there wearing their big red uh, jackets that they wear in the movie. And then there's a little bit of uh, Easter egg sprinkled in throughout there. And in one spot, we can see uh, Slimer. And then of course we have Garaka there front and center, um, as well as like the little ice shards all over the place. So it does kind of lean into the fact that we may be seeing those kind of all over the place. But overall, just kind of the design is just bleh. And a lot of people are, are really hating on this design because of one thing in particular, and that being that universal arch. Yeah, if you didn't realize, that's Hollywood's arch. Why? I don't know. 
both Orlando and Hollywood have the exact same shirt design. So it makes sense for over there, but over here, not so much. I don't know why they decided not to at least switch them up and do, okay, we'll have the Orlando one in the background there and we'll have the Hollywood one for their shirts. We had HHN first. We should be the ones that get the arch in the merch. It doesn't make sense to do have, give them the uh, I, I just don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, but regardless, I'm not getting it anyways because I don't really like the design and I'm not a really big fan of the movie. So here we go. But uh, anyways, let's talk about the hat as well. Uh, the hat has kind of a similar design. It's kind of that wintry design um, with little ice and, and snowflakes and then Garaka in the middle with, of course, the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire logo right below that. Kind of basic hat, doesn't really interest me that much. That's uh, kind of the going theme with these announcement merch. Um, it doesn't really interest me all that much. Uh, I rarely get these announcement merchandise. I kind of normally save my money and wait for the actual merchandise for the event. Um, something that I would actually care about, like the event t-shirt or the studio screamers or a pin even. But um, that is going to wrap up this announcement video. If you did enjoy, please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below. Are you excited for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire to be coming to this event? Um, have you seen the movie? What was your opinion on the movie? I'd like to know down in the comments below. But as always, I'm Michael from Hollywood Thrills, giving you the all clear. And all clear means you're out of here. See you guys next time. <laughs>